Hello and welcome, my name is Bartosz and this is July Genius Free Video Challenge. In this video I will show you how you can expand your skills and what actually you can do with Genius Free. Before I move to my lab, for those who are just starting with Genius Free, it's easier than you can imagine. Don't be afraid to use it, you can't break it, so don't be scared to mess around with settings and configuration, just play around with it. There are plenty tutorials how to use Genius Free for everyone, from beginners to advanced users. Genius Free is a very fast growing software and it changes nearly every day. But the most amazing part is the great supportive community. There are people who will help you, there are people you can ask questions. Right, let's move to my CCNA lab. It's quite big, but it's very good for troubleshooting. While I was uh, building this lab, I had a few problems with routing, OSPF, EIGRP and some configuration, but over time I managed to resolve it and everything works perfectly fine. Quick hint to everyone listening, with this size lab you can make very simple mistakes. Um, for example, connecting devices with wrong interfaces. And believe me, sometimes it takes time until you find out it's not the actual configuration problem. Uh, in this lab you can go all over the places from one side of the topology to the other side. Uh, all devices are visible in the network and you can access them from everywhere. I've noticed many people are asking about the requirements for Genius Free and I can tell you from my experience that you can use Genius Free on almost anything. I recently upgraded my computer to i7 16 gig of RAM and this enormous topology I use in my lab is working barely using resources of my computer. Um, so you can see here uh, the average is about 14 to 18 percent. Uh, at the moment it, it changes because I'm using recording software so it goes up and down but when I would switch off the recording software it would come down to 15-18% uh, I used before 4 core AMD with 8 gig RAM and uh, I never exceed 20% resources of my computer and uh, just recently community member Jason posted a tutorial how to install Genus Free on Raspberry Pi 2 so uh, you can see it can be run almost uh, on almost everything and if you want to read about it, about uh, how to install uh, Genius Free on uh, Raspberry Pi 2, uh, you can click the link in the description. Okay, so a few words about my lab. From the start, uh, in this lab I'm using uh, three, uh, I would say, like external components, which is Alvik, uh, Virtual Appliance, which is excellent network uh, management tool, and Orion NCM Network Configuration Manager, uh, which is also quite a good piece of software, uh, where it provides also free tools like uh, TFTP server and some other tools, which I will show you later on. Okay, so we are here with uh, first network, uh, GLBP configuration, uh, 10001 gateway cloud is bridged with two separate network interfaces with USB and Ethernet 2 which is my main network card. Uh, Cisco 3725 is turning to switch with Ether channel 4 port is uh, W1, is W2 um, DHCP server configuration on 10004 Three computers, PC1 and 2 are uh, Cisco routers 3745 with routing capability, turn off and IP DHCP configuration. Uh, we have also one Windows 7 uh, virtual box and we have SNMP slave 1 which is, uh, is a backend for SNMP configuration for SolarWinds, Orion and uh, Auvik. Right, let's do some tests. Okay, let's from uh, DHCP server 10004, let's do some uh, pings just to see how everything works. Let's go do traceroute to 172.199.41. Uh, 
which is completely on the side of the network. Let me scroll. It goes here to s SNMP Slave 1 and goes back to SMP Master and goes back to Slave 4, goes to IPv6 R3, uh, Hurricane IPv6 Link, and it goes to router IPv6 uh, R2 to this IP address 172.9941. As you can see, it's successful. And let's do some ping maybe to 10.10.01, which is network below 10.10.01 OSPF R3 R1 slave 2 goes back to uh, master from master goes back to slave 1 and goes here to the CP server network 2 uh, OSPF configuration couple of routers here uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's have a look here. This is uh, OSPF R3, which is this one, and this is the result of command show IP route. Also, I did uh, ping to 172.9941, which is the router we pinged before. Okay, let's jump quickly to network 3 IPv6 configuration. Best way to get IPv6 uh, addresses is Hurricane Electric. Um, they offer free IPv6 tunnels over IPv4. To set up, uh, you need to go to the website tunnel tunnelbroker.net. Uh, set up your account in just a few seconds, and you have to add s your configuration like uh, IP address, uh, and the website will uh, set up for us uh, config. You have to go to the example, choose Cisco IOS and it will generate the code you need to copy and paste into uh, our topology. Uh, also you will get rooted IPv6 addresses uh, as you can see I submitted some um, uh, IPv6 addresses already in my topology. Uh, all IPv6 addresses are reachable from internet to inside network so let's uh, just do a quick test. Uh, I've got here already uh, done. Uh, I use uh, the website Subnet Online, and you can uh, use online ping to in inside the network, which goes to here, which is uh, tunnel IPv6 Six link. Then it goes to uh, IPv6 R3. Uh, it goes to SMTP slave uh, four, uh, and then it goes to master, and it goes to my uh, IP internal IP address which is uh, this one here and this is a loopback interface on my I oh know actually it's USB network card uh, set up for both uh, IPv6 and IPv4 uh, as we closing to 10 minutes uh, quickly jump to network 4 it is HSRP setup with 10.10.10.1 gateway, 2 IOU switches and 4 servers which are actually Cisco 3620 uh, with no routing capabilities uh, set up as PC, manual IP address and default gateway 10.10.10.1 10 10 uh, Cloud are connected to bridge uh, internet uh, card connected straight to my DryTech router which is my main router for my network, uh, which assign IP over DHCP to R1 and R2. All devices are connected to internet and SNMP traffic is routed to SNMP slave 3, sending traffic to SNMP master straight to Alvik and SolarWind. So this is my CCNA lab in very, very short general app configuration is IPv4 is based on OSPF routing, IPv6 is based on EIGRP routing protocol, frame relay point to point with OSPF, TFTP based on SolarWinds free toolset and Orion network configuration as well with uh, Auvik virtual appliance. Unfortunately, 10 minutes is not enough to present this enormous topology. Please feel free to contact me if you have any more questions. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like to thank you for viewing.